confusion and concern. Pfizer says it is working on a booster shot because not enough people have gotten vaccinated. Health experts say a booster will likely be needed because variants, more variants of the virus continue to spread. It is a lead story tonight at 8 o'clock. Maricopa County health leaders say that the Delta variant now makes up 19% of cases here in our state. In other parts of the country, it has become the dominant strain. So health officials do want to get it under control as soon as possible. Our Spencer Blake joining us live tonight from the news or on what this means for all of us, Spence. More than anything, this intensifies. The of vaccines discovered Maricopa County's immunity. first case of the COVID Delta variant in April. It made up only 0.1% of cases then. Now it's nearing 20%. In the United States, the Delta variant is the dominant strain that they're seeing. So we would expect uh, the Delta strain to become the dominant one here in Maricopa County very shortly. Dr. Rebecca Sunenshine, the county's medical director for disease control, says the newer strain can cause much more severe symptoms, especially among young kids. There are groups of people who aren't eligible to get the vaccine yet, like kids who are under 12. Those individuals need to continue to wear a mask to protect themselves and to protect the people around them. This week, Dr. Anthony Fauci expressed concern over how quickly the variant is spreading nationwide. Those areas, those select areas of the country that have a very low level of vaccination, like 30% or so, you're going to start seeing many surges that are localized to certain regions. But there is good news. State Health Director Dr. Kara Christ says the current vaccines on the market are still proving to be very effective against the Delta variant. We know that it is transmitted more easily, so that's why we're recommending that everyone get vaccinated. While Pfizer is working on a booster for its COVID vaccine, the current shots are still holding steady against COVID even after six months, so long as people get all the required doses. The CDC and the FDA say a booster is not necessary right now. Now, of course, there is a slight chance a vaccinated person could get the Delta variant. But remember, the efficacy rate for the vaccines is still above 90 percent and symptoms would be much more mild than if you didn't have a vaccine. Well, Spencer, just today, the CDC came out with some pretty new guidance saying that vaccinated teachers and students no longer will need to wear a mask when they're at school in this upcoming school year. What do our local health experts have to say about that when it comes to this new Delta variant? Well, you know, it comes into play because, again, kids are particularly susceptible to the Delta variant. But the key, again, is that if you're fully vaccinated, Dr. Sunenshine agrees that no masks are necessary for the school year. She's also hopeful, by the way, that the vaccine will be approved for kids under 12 before the Delta variant becomes the dominant strain here in Maricopa County. And uh, I, we do want to let our viewers know, Spencer, that there are quite a few uh, vaccination events for students here in the Phoenix Union School District. Go on to our AZ Family News app. We've got all the information there so that your children can get vaccinated before the school year begins. That Pretty is our, easy. Yeah, very easy. They're making it really easy going into communities where those folks live. Uh, Spencer Blake, with all that information, important information tonight regarding the Delta variant. Spencer, as always, thank you.